that was unexpected. That was very unexpected and very embarrassing. Guys, I have created a monster. I am going to be doing something that I said I'd never do. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me. Hi guys, my 7 a.m. alarm went off almost 20 minutes ago. Yet here I am, still in bed. I just am so tired, but I know I must get up and I honestly don't feel like working out. I just don't feel like doing anything today, but I am going to. We're going to do it, guys. We're we got this. We're in it together. Let's go. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got the system of favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. I just want to let you know that everything you just witnessed is my morning routine my true honest morning routine do you guys remember on YouTube when people would just like lie about their morning routines including myself I was part of that era you know play with the dog lay with the dog yeah it was a fun little pool time you know just for like a half hour just having some fun and you would just like add in all of these things like and then I do yoga and then I read a book and then I write in my journal and then I read my daily devotion and then I, like like all of these things that we know you didn't squeeze into a morning unless like it's like your full day but like I'm talking like morning like this is what I do before I start work I don't have time to do a million and one great things for my health and my body and my soul so this was it nice little bike ride making some chocolate oatmeal just waiting for it to sit oh this is gonna be a good one guys that consistency and overall this week is going to be a week of doing things I don't want to do like preparing for the move I also have oh man this is it we're gonna talk about the other thing later because this one I'm really dreading but before we do all of that this is like the only sunny day of the week according to the forecast so you best believe I'm hitting up the pool this is my unofficial office this summer I have decided this is my favorite spot to work because today I just have like a lot of editing and behind-the-scenes stuff to do so why not do it here and I just love this whole garage area because you still feel like you're outside but obviously it's entirely shaded and they've got a lot of comfy places over here but this this is where my office shall be for the afternoon. Or actually, it's still morning. And fun fact, I cannot work in the evening. Like, it's just not, I can edit. I guess I could do that, but my brain turns off. It's just like a mental thing once like 5 p.m., 6 p.m. hits. Like, even in college, I had so many friends who were like, oh my gosh, I'm a night owl. That's when I do all my papers and my best work. No, I wake up, do my little workout, and then I, I have to like work in the morning like that's when I feel productive. I feel like I have my whole day ahead of me It's just a mental thing but like I physically Can't work at night and when I have to do that like I, I hate it But what I have on the agenda right now I have to edit an entire vlog which I'm very Not lucky, but I'm just really happy I was kind of editing as I was going and that is so helpful to me because to just put in hours of footage and then be like here do this vlog I feel like that would take me days like so I like to edit as I go like kind of just the basics and then I go back in again and I do like the texts the crops all of that like that's when I really kind of go in with like a fine tooth comb so my goal is to get this just entire video done and pre-uploaded thumbnail and everything but then the other big thing I have to do today is we need to book our fourth location for our travels if you guys remember we are going to be traveling starting in August then our next spot will be starting in September, October, November. Basically, we're doing four spots before we go home for Christmas. And we have not even locked down where we want to go for our fourth spot. Like, I don't know. It's so hard. Obviously, we're dealing with prices. Like, because it's not just like, oh, let's just go anywhere. It's like, 
We're trying to keep it to a certain budget that I feel like we're already slightly going over. But I really, really want to finalize that fourth location because that's just gonna make me feel so much better. And then after that, and this might be like a task I do, I don't know, tomorrow or the day after, find out storage units, what furniture we're keeping, what we're selling or giving away, and then parking like for my car because we're only taking Zach's car and just all of the little things that I have been putting off and quite honestly mm. dreading. I know that I messed up, wish I could take it back, but it doesn't Good morning guys, we are actually off to a very late start to the vlog today. It's like not even morning, it's 11.39 a.m. I've been waiting for Zach to get off calls for me to start it out there. I wanted to start in the Clancy room, show you guys a few things, but he's just on back-to-back -back meetings. So I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna talk to you guys in here. And by the way, I purposely did not fully make the bed. Actually, Zach made the bed this morning, but I normally go in and add our throw pillows. Didn't do it because these are now considered our evil throw pillows. I think they might be the reason I've been having really bad allergies lately. I feel like whenever I get in bed, that's when I get hit. And I've realized, you know what? We throw them on the floor and there's probably like dust on them. And you're probably like, why do, why do you continue doing it? Why are they still on the floor? I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. But this morning's actually been great. I finally returned to burn boot camp for the first time in like two or three weeks because I got those really bad shoulder injuries and I just did a lot of modifications today. Like instead of doing full burpees, for example, I was, <laughs> my trainer, I did not tell her my shoulders were in pain and that's why I've been missing. She probably thinks, I don't even know what she thinks, but that's why I love burn boot camp. Like it's so inclusive. You could be doing anything. It's like all about just challenging yourself. And I like the environment where they're not like, go give me 10 more like they are encouraging like come on keep going but it's not in like a crazy stressful way i really like burn so that's what i did this morning then what i've been doing it actually has been a productive morning what i've been doing for a very long time i've been going through all of my clothes and these are the ones i am donating so you guys know i have been selling some on poshmark but these ones okay actually i was ready to go to goodwill and i put up an instagram story saying that a lot of you guys are telling me to go to clothes mentor or somewhere like that and i actually think i might try to do that they give you like a nominal payment it's not a lot of money at all but it's a really cool concept and a lot of people can't afford full price work outfits but you still need to look preventable preventable presentable so i actually might try to go to clothes mentor i have the time why the heck not and then the other stuff i will donate to goodwill especially the things that aren't like work related and i love goodwill i mean i've done so many stories at goodwill which they're always my favorite stories because you can just find the craziest coolest things at goodwill like i love it and to be honest i shopped at goodwill i have shopped i mean i don't mean that in the past tense i just haven't been there lately but i have no shame in saying i mean right here my favorite my favorite um sweater this was from goodwill it was like six dollars and i love it and especially if you're maybe just starting out in your career i mean it really wasn't dayton when i wasn't making a whole lot of money but i wanted new clothes i just went to goodwill and like it's just so cheap but so cute and you would never know you got it at goodwill or wherever you get it so anyway i'm gonna take these bad boys over to close mentor i guess it'll be interesting to see how much money all of this will get me all right that was easy enough i just gave in my clothes to clothes mentor and then they said they're going to text me in like 30 minutes to an hour telling me what they're taking what they're not and how much money i am getting this is actually like kind of riveting also i just got a notification on my phone from the weather authority aka local 12 and it says some storms likely may be strong to severe with heavy rainfall and damaging winds and normally i would be freaking out right now because there is nothing Thing I hate more in this world than covering tornado damage because it's actually really dangerous for morning reporters. We get sent out saying there was a tornado last night and uh, I should say it's less dangerous than like, I feel like a lot of tornadoes hit at night. There are nightsiders who are like chasing the tornado practically. It's not safe at all. For me, the tornado already hit, but then I need to find the damage. It's pitch black because usually it happens in rural areas where there aren't lights anyway, but then there's been a tornado, so there's no lights, like not even like street lights or anything like that. And you're trying to find the damage. And one time I was this close to driving the news car into just like an absolute ditch. Like it, I just, I was picturing it, it would have flipped over. It was, it was just such a bad morning, I remember. So finally, even if we do get severe weather where some trees fall down and power lines, I don't have to report on it. And I feel very good about that. And obviously I don't want there to be severe weather anyway, because 
it's dangerous, but I just, you know, I can handle a storm. I just can't handle having to do storm damage. I am now at the park about to do an activity that I absolutely dread, but I must do and I must get better at. And it's taking photos of myself. I know this sounds so stupid and so lame, but truly this is like a part of my job kind of. Like I really need to up my Instagram game. I'm trying to challenge myself, trying to step out of the box. And there are parts of every job that you're not gonna love. Like even though I'm obviously doing, you know, full-time YouTube being like, oh my gosh, that's like a dream. But it, there's still some things that I'm just not crazy about. And this is one of them. I'm just not good at taking photos. I don't even know what to do. I'm gonna give myself 15 minutes. If I like, cause I don't wanna like, I just hate when I like go through them. I'm like, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks. But 15 minutes, if I can't find one I love in 15 minutes, that's okay. I'm not spending all day doing this. Just a nice little 15 minute photo shoot. Let's see if we can come up with something. I am literally airing out my armpits right now. It is so hot for me to say it's hot. It's hot, like, oh my gosh. And honestly, got it done in 10 minutes. I still have to like look at the pictures cause I can't really see them in the sunlight. So I have to do that. But you see, like, I feel just, I, that sounds so stupid. I was about to say, I feel so accomplished. I took a photo of myself, but really like this is stepping outside my comfort zone so much. This is not something I ever did. So yeah, it's cool. And also I got a check saying, my clothes are ready or whatever is ready. Like, I don't know. I'm like actually scared. I don't know. Cause like, I feel like it's going to be like embarrassing them being like, we didn't want this, 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 all your clothes are ugly. I don't know. I'm just scared, but let's see. Time for the big moment. Here goes nothing. I am kind of at a loss for words right now. So got in there. They told me they could give me 310 for my clothes. And I'm thinking, all right, 310 bucks. That's not too bad. And then there was a pause. And then she said, $3.10 and you know what $3.10 and they showed me one item they took it was like this ratty sweatshirt that's the only item they took out of five bags one item a ratty sweatshirt for $3.10 and the most demoralizing moment of all wasn't when they handed me the $3 not that no it was when they handed me the dime that's when, that's that. That's what really did it. So I donated the rest of Goodwill. It's all going to a good place and it, it's all good. It's just, wow, that was, um, that was unexpected. That was very unexpected and very embarrassing. Not gonna lie, there are a lot of people around and it just, it hit, it hit. So we're good. I'm actually going to go home and let's see what Zach's reaction is. Cause he saw me carrying all of the bags. So I feel like he's not gonna expect this and let's see. Ready Zach, come out here. I'm gonna put in your hand the Perfect money points. I just earned on my clothes. But you can't keep it. Yeah, I can. No, you can't put out your hand. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> I'm supposed to guess. Yeah, guess. Okay, yeah, guess first. How many pieces of clothing? Um, maybe like I don't know, like fifty. Fifty pieces of clothing to what? That one place? Yeah. So I'm gonna guess fifty dollars. <laughs> All right, let's see. <laughs> This is all they gave you? Oh, and 10 cents. <laughs> they gave you $3. And 10 cents. And they only took one thing, a ratty old sweatshirt. They said the rest isn't in style. And they just what, threw it away? I donated there? it to Goodwill. Wow. Yup. <laughs> you like how I like kind of answered? I'm like, you can't even keep it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you trickster you. I'm such a trickster. Wow, how did I fall for it? Can you believe that though? Okay, but you lied to me. They didn't take 50 items. Okay, I gave 50 items, that's insane. Do you know how demoralizing that was? <laughs> Taking all of them back in my trunk in multiple trips. Today is just not the day, except, can you guys see? I got a very exciting package from Abercrombie and Fitch and I honestly forget what I even ordered, so that's riveting. All right, first top, in my opinion, is a success. I really like this. I'm just obsessed with the sleeves nowadays. Like that is, that is the look. Normally I would be wearing a strapless bra, as you can see, that does not go with it, but I just didn't feel like changing. And I also would probably pair this with a pair of white skinny jeans, but I am so hot and so sweaty right now. And that is just not in the cards for me. I'm not squeezing into a pair of those. So yeah, this is the first one I really like. What's the back? Oh, the back is just normal. I don't know what the bra situation is. I have to figure that out, but definitely keeping the first one. This one I almost feel is like the dress version of the last shirt. I love this. Like I feel like it just fits so nicely here and then it flows out perfectly, but not too much. Sometimes I wear these dresses where I feel like people are gonna be asking me, when are you due? 
because it just looks like a total maternity. I feel like this one, hey, if you're pregnant, this will definitely work, but also I feel like it's normal enough where if you're not pregnant, it's still cute. I really like this, oh my gosh, I feel like I want it in like another pattern too. And then I just got a pack of like two plain tops, one that's like kind of tannish, the other one is bright white. These were so cheap, I'm gonna insert here how much they cost together, which oh my gosh, whenever I'm editing and I make myself do extra work like this, like going to find how much did it cost? I hate myself, so to Editor Clancy, I'm sorry, but it had to be done. And for this, I'd probably style it. It actually kind of has like a, I like how it has this. I can't explain it. It's not just straight down because I never know how to style that, but I'd probably try to like give it like a little tuck, maybe like that. I don't know, I have to play around with it, but the material of this, super soft. Like I really, really like this material. Wow, I can't believe I just had a successful online order. That has not happened to me in forever. I feel like I'm always returning things because things just don't look right. So I needed that after this hectic, Sad, sad morning. Hashtag 310. Just taking a little salad lunch break and a little update because I told you guys about this new salad combo I tried out a few vlogs ago. I've been obsessed with this. It's avocado, romaine lettuce, cucumbers, tomatoes, chickpeas, grilled chicken, and balsamic vinaigrette, and it is just so freaking good. So if you guys are like tired of salad, just try switching up the ingredients because salads can be totally different uh, based on what you put in it. So I am obsessed. Oh my goodness, guys. It is three o'clock in the afternoon. This storm that I told you guys about before it just came out of nowhere. It's like pitch black in our apartment right now. Like this is what it looks like normally in the winter at like 6 p.m. Like, oh my goodness, this is crazy. But I was telling them, Zach, I know, oh my gosh, I'm scared. But I was telling them I no longer have to go out and report in this. I get to be with you and we can like hang and stuff. And that's good. It's good. For Us. you? I just turned on Local okay, 12 and everything. normally they would not be on the air right now since it's only three. Yeah, they don't come on till four, but we are under, I think a watch, a watch or a warning. I honestly don't know what's happening right now, except that's crazy. This is even more crazy. Oh my gosh. And this is when meteorologists just like come to life. Like seeing what they do, I will never not be floored. Just they're so talented and they go on air. Like some of them will be on air for hours. I mean, there have been tornado watches and warnings that have lasted like I don't I don't want to make up a number, but just all night. They're they're at the studio all night, so it's crazy, but they're so freaking good at what they do. I just want to let you guys know I'm sitting here working, I'm responding to comments, I'm editing, and the video I just uploaded is my wedding dress try-on video. Zach comes in and alerts me that those were losers for a reason. Okay, I, okay. I back. what did I say? I said, you look nice. You like mumbled that. You're like, <laughs> you like whispered it like, no. you look nice. I and then he's like, those nice. were losers for a reason. That is not how our interaction went, it even is. the slightest. But if you're trying to exaggerate for content sake, don't do it at my expense. He's bothering you when I'm at work, guys. This is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, yeah. Never this thought is... it'd be this. She doesn't even get out of bed anymore. She just lays around. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is our new life. Suck. She orders like Uber Eats, stays in her jammies all day. No. I have to like, clean the apartment. It's not going Enough. Well. This is what I like to call couples goals. We've got our potatoes, our avocado. Really, we just have so much in common now. Little did I know. I just want everyone to know the hardest part about this whole work from home balance thing with a couple, being in a relationship, is there is no boundary between work and play. There's like no distinction because one second, Zach is in the Clancy room, we're laughing, having a good time. Literally the next second, like the next, I blink, I ask him a question, he's at the computer, he's not answering me, and I'm like, why aren't you talking? And he's like, I'm working, like what do you expect? I just don't understand how you expect me to know you're working when the minute before we were having fun. Yeah. Was that the tone of voice I was giving you? I'm working, what do you expect? Is that how I sound? That was the exact tone of voice. Today though, guys, is, whew, it's an interesting day. I am going to be doing something that I said I'd never do. And it's something that I've not wanted to do and I've been dreading doing for years because I kind of knew it was inevitable one day. I feared this and I am making a TikTok. Actually, as a matter of fact, I have made the TikTok, okay? It's just my name, Clancy Burke. Please follow me, I have zero followers and, um, it feels so weird like starting from scratch on something because I've obviously had my YouTube channel for, for followers. Shut up. I, you gotta you gotta beg. I have I'm not above that. But actually Zach has been my little coach. He came up 
with my first TikTok concept. We have to execute it today. He has a hair, Zach, we're not gonna get it done before your haircut, this sucks. It's gonna take you 45 minutes to do a <laughs> six second video. It's gonna take me. Guys, I'm not kidding, like there's so much pressure involved because I've never done this. Like it just feels so weird, I know nothing. I was actually all last night researching i filmed the whole clip i had to delete it because my microphone wasn't on properly but i was researching how to edit these like i know nothing about TikTok, but the reason i'm doing it is because i had this big excuse for the past few years being like oh i do tv reporting and like it wasn't even it wasn't even an excuse like it truly was real everyone would always be like why aren't you on TikTok? get a TikTok." especially a lot of tv reporters got big on TikTok, and it was a big hit i like could not fathom adding another thing to my plate just with like the full-time job then there's youtube instagram kind of i was never really good at instagram but i just couldn't fathom and now we've got the time i mean it's like what 10 13 i'm in a robe still so clearly life is a little more calm i did not work out this morning i am so sore oh my gosh like my calves are even sore from yesterday and i just don't want to injure myself like i already have so definitely keeping things a little I'm, I'm being a little more careful and cautious with everything would you care to explain the concept that you came up for me with my first TikTok? because the first one needed to be good what you're are you actually doing it yeah with clancy's big new life change there was that popular drake song that became a TikTok where it's like i just flipped a switch and then like flip a light switch and like it transitions into something so but we're not gonna flip a light switch well then what are you doing remember the microphone zach so that was what people were doing and i guess clancy's gonna do a version of that with her and maybe what are you wearing a reporting dress or yeah like blazer like acting like she's a reporter of some sort or just wearing her reporting get up <laughs> and then doing her little transition into like a youtuber so. oh it's gonna be so hard though guys because the the song that i want i don't want the slow i flip the switch there's like a slow song that i swear it's like an awkwardly long buildup. It's like, I don't know, 15 second buildup. No one wants to watch me just pretending to report for 15 seconds. All of this has to happen so fast. Like, I don't know, it, it might be a fail, we'll see, but I need to get into my costume number one. What has my life become? All right, a little update. This is outfit number one. I feel like a fraud for even wearing this. I feel weird, this is my old life. And by the way, I never wore, these are like blue light glasses. I never wore these obviously when I was reporting or any glasses for that matter, but I thought it added to like the whole, I don't know, more like uptight, nerdy. I like never wore my hair up either. It's just adding to the effect guys, okay, okay. So anyway, I just did part one, which I can show you how awkward it looks. I'm just like pretending to talk, to report, and then I'm gonna hit it with the mic and then, <laughs> that's awkward. And then hopefully for the next transition, I'll grab the mic away and then throw it and then have my vlog camera. I don't know, there's so much that needs to fit into like six seconds. It's so hard. I give so much credit to TikTokers. I know like Zach said like, oh, of course we can get it done in however much time before my haircut. And you know what? I've always heard people say children's book authors, like that's even more difficult than writing just a novel because a novel, you're just throwing words out there. For anyone who loves to write, it's relatively easy. What's really hard is getting it so like succinct, like, choosing just the perfect words where every single word counts. That's how I feel right now. So anyway, time to go to costume number two. I don't even know what I'm wearing. All right, now it's gonna be the crazy part, putting it together. And actually, you know what? Oh! Sorry, downstairs neighbor. And then we wonder why we get noise complaints. I'm like, I don't understand. I'm quiet as a mouse. Things happen, guys. I'm maybe not always quiet as a mouse, but it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna try to edit this together, guys. I have no, this might look so stupid, but I'm excited. Okay, this is the fun part, editing it together. And for my second outfit, I was gonna do a dress, but then I thought like just being more casual, since obviously I'm always in work dresses, would work best. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see. I am back in costume number one because I was editing it. I give up. I really think I'm just gonna go with the first version. I just wasn't completely satisfied, but here's the thing. It's a six second video. We just gotta get it up and running because I feel like that's also one of the reasons I haven't really, you know, delved into the world of TikTok. It's just, it's like, I just feel like, oh my gosh, like if I, if I do it, it has to be perfect, but it's not gonna be. And also, one of the reasons this is really hard for me is because I'm actually not a TikTok consumer. I much prefer long form content. I create long form content. It's just my preference. So this whole like six second, five second, whatever second video thing has just never been 
my thing. Like I in my entire life have probably spent 10 minutes collectively on TikTok. I've never understood when people are like, I just spent all night scrolling. Like I just have never done it. It's just not my thing. And with YouTube, it's so easy to get inspired and like really know like, I don't know, just like kind of like have a, what is it like a finger on the pulse? Something like that. I don't, it's like a saying, I don't know. But I, I get it because I'm a, I'm a YouTube watcher. I see the trends. I see, I get different ideas from watching other videos. It's obviously not copying. It's just being inspired, which we all do. And for TikTok, I know nothing. I don't like, I don't know anything. And Zach came up with this video idea for me. So I don't know where I'm going from here, but leave a comment below if you have any suggestions for TikTok videos you think I could make? I can't dance. It's one of the big reasons I was turned off to TikTok in the first place because I was like, so many dancers, I can't do that. I truly cannot. So yeah, I don't know. I, I'm gonna, ugh, I'm gonna upload it. I just, it feels so weird. It feels so vulnerable, me trying something I'm not good at, but you know what? Keeps life interesting. Guys, I have created a monster. I just completed my second TikTok. I'm kind of addicted and I didn't like fully complete it because I'm still getting the hang of the whole editing thing. So I really need to go in and get it perfect. But seriously, it's going to be linked down below. I'm a TikToker now, guys. I'm a TikToker. And really, for me, I think the big struggle is just going to be like coming up with ideas. But I'm kind of excited about that. Zach just got a haircut. Show us the cut, Zach. Give us a little... A little, yep, that was great. <laughs> yep, there we go, spin. We are actually gonna be trying a very interesting thing for lunch. This is cauliflower gnocchi. So this is Zach's batch, and then I'm gonna make my own as well. It's the one from Trader Joe's. I showed it, I think, like, last vlog. Where's mine? Oh, this is mine. And I've heard things about this. I love potatoes, you guys know, but I have no idea. I don't even, did I even pronounce it right, Zach, gnocchi? I mean, I think that's how you pronounce it. When Zach and I were in Trader Joe's, I called it Nachi. I was like, have you tried Nachi? So good thing one of us knew. All right, I have made the cauliflower gnocchi. I think that's, if I'm saying it wrong, please don't hate me. I, I've never eaten this. I don't know anything about it, but Zach actually tried his before. I got it on camera. It was so anticlimactic. Yeah, it's fine. So hopefully I have more of a reaction. It's definitely looking iffy these guys got stuck together and honestly the smell is kind of repulsing me a little bit so i don't know it kind of actually it almost reminds me of french fries anyways i haven't even eaten it yet so let me and i'll show you guys i'm having the cauliflower gnocchi hopefully if i like it can of tuna and then oh my gosh guys at whole foods yesterday these grapes looked so freaking good going to whole foods it just happened i was returning something at the store right next to it altered state the Money. Oh my gosh. I mean, this cost me, I think, like $6.50 at Kroger. It would be a heck of a lot cheaper, but like, I made the exception because these grapes were models. Like, have you ever seen anything like it? And yes, I had all of this yesterday. Here goes nothing. Hmm. Interesting. It kind of just feels like I'm eating a french fry, which feels weird to have just fries for lunch and tuna and grapes, but. Hmm. Oh my gosh. I really like that. I seriously was like, wow, am I about to throw out all of these? This is delicious. This is amazing. Guys, go out and get it. Trader Joe's cauliflower gnocchi. And oh my gosh, also, I just posted my TikTok like four minutes ago. Already a few of you guys have messaged me saying like, good job. And you don't even know how much that means to me. Like, I feel like the new kid at school getting on TikTok right now. I, I don't, I just don't even know how this thing works. So I gotta really like get my act together and obviously i can't place the tiktok in this video but it's going to be linked down below a little update on the cauliflower gnocchi that stuff will never enter my mouth again for as long as i live like the first couple of bites i was all about it like okay yeah this is good oh my gosh i was halfway through i thought i was gonna throw up it was just vile like that's that's the only way to explain it and i'm sorry that I took me that long to realize. So yeah, that was disgusting. I still feel kind of sick from that, but I've been very productive. I'm just in like, let's get life together mode. So are you guys ready for it? Ready for it? Ready for it? Boom. I have filled up four garbage bags of clothes I'm going to be donating. These are all filled to the brim. Clothes, shoes, bikinis, everything like that. And then if we go over here, I actually have another one that I'm about to zip up, but I have a couple of maybe items that I don't want to donate. So you can see it's kind of like filled. 
these are so sad guys these are my onesies which you're probably like what your onesies these got me through college because my roommates preferred the house a lot colder than i did i just walk around the house in these this one i actually wore for halloween a couple of years ago which worked out perfectly but it's so cute and another thing i know i have to get rid of but i don't want to it's these shoes like look at them they are so beautiful i actually wore them to the first wedding zach and i went to when we first started dating but they were so uncomfortable like i was bleeding and it's funny because like obviously i really wanted to like look good it was like one of our first times going out together like seriously we had just become official and i was willing to bleed i was willing to bleed but i'm not anymore so like cleaning out your closet it's so hard because you have these little things where you're like for example there's this one shirt i bought in i have to sneeze I, i'm getting so many allergies from going into my closet so deep oh my gosh but there was this one shirt i bought in nashville three years ago have not worn it once yet i found myself saying like oh but maybe i'll still wear it if you haven't worn it in three years chances are you're not gonna wear it again so i'm trying to be ruthless i mean based on the amount of garbage bags you guys are seeing i am being ruthless i still need to go through my drawers which is gonna be another thing but <sighs> we're making moves guys we're making moves i just finished editing this vlog up until this point and i don't know if you guys have noticed but i did three new things to my look for today and i actually really like it like even just compared to yesterday well a couple of them are new so First things first, I actually used a new self tanner that my friend Carly got me so many months ago, but I had it and actually let's, let's do a little field trip to show you. I hadn't been able to use it just because I wasn't done with the one I had already bought. I bought like bulk, you guys know how I always do it. But I finally decided, I'm like, you know what? Let me try this. So I had been using the St. Tropez bronzing water. Love, by the way, just the whole bronzing water thing. It's just so much better for your face than just going for the gold with even like a cream. Like I just really like the consistency and everything with this. But Carly got me the Isle of Paradise self-tanning water in the shade medium. I've actually noticed a difference in my face today. Like, I like it. I really like what's going on there. So I did that. Then I changed up my lips a little bit. I always do a liquid lipstick for the base. And it's this one. It is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Patina. Kind of has like a purpley tint to it which gosh, this isn't like my go-to for so long, but I decided to go for one that is, I know it's hard to tell in the bottle or the tube, it's slightly lighter. This one is Queen Bee and it is the Melted Matte Too Faced Liquid Lipstick. It's lighter, but I've loved what it looks like on my lips today. I also have on over it the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Medium though, or dark, medium dark, something. It's just like the darker version of the one everyone wears. Let's see, medium. And it's worn out because I haven't reapplied in a few hours, but I have like loved this whole combo. And then the other thing, I switched up my eyeshadow. I went for the gold with like a really light, soft brown instead of just doing like my, I, I do like normally like Sin in the Naked palette, if you know that. It's like a champagne color, I actually. I have it all right here, I can show you. I normally do this color on my lids, which I love, but today I went in, this is so gross, I know, but I went in with this uh, taupe color right over here on the lids and I really really like the way it looks I also did this espresso in the outer corners as well and then I actually just did like little baby wings really baby like you could barely even see them I feel like but I'm digging this look I'm really digging it and then my hair is getting so long for me I know it's not like long for most people but ever since I became a reporter I feel like my hair has just been so short and finally I'm just it's not even like it's planned or anything i'm just growing it out i don't know i guess it's just having a moment but yeah i figured i'm gonna end the vlog here mostly so i can start a new one do a little weekend in my life because tomorrow is friday i have no idea what i'm doing this weekend but either way i'll take you guys along with me next vlog so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on tiktok and instagram and mostly tiktok because i'm new on there and i have no followers okay bye <laughs>